<laughs> Have you ever thought about absolute power, the ability to reign terror on anyone who could ever stand in your way in Fortnite? Well, I had that chance, and it nearly cost me everything. This was about a month ago. I received the news like everybody did, about this cool new healing item called the Flowberry Fizz. It granted so much shield, and on top of that you can get low gravity, kind of like how the Hot Rocks used to. I was so pumped to try this thing out. My excitement eventually turned to annoyance. I just couldn't find the damn thing. I must have played over 10 games, and yet not a single one. I almost gave up, but I had just come off of a 10 kill win, so I figured I would give it one more try. I landed at Reckless Railways and battled my way to the vault located there. I had previously third partied another two people who were fighting the boss, and I had the medallion. Upon me breaking into the vault, I was greeted with something strange. This vault looked much more different than it was supposed to. It was much larger. It had all kinds of security around it, but the biggest thing of note, they had a flowberry fizz located right in the middle, hidden behind a glass box. This one looked extremely different to the one I saw on the internet. It was coloured bright red. Just what was this? Some kind of strawberry flavour? I quickly dashed ahead, dodging all of the security. I managed to pickaxe the glass and I grabbed the flowberry fizz. No, the bloodberry fizz as I call it. As I took the drink, I heard a loud alarm blare, as about 20 different henchmen swarmed me. They peppered me with bullets, I had barely any time to build and keep myself safe. But my health was so low, I was a bullet or two away from dying. I had no other choice. I drank the bloodberry fizz. Yes, drank. Which is odd as usually you would just spray it in the air, but my character drank it directly. After finishing the healer ball, a small cutscene played. My character fell to the floor and screamed loudly. He began to throw up blood all over the floor. My jaw dropped as I saw this gruesome sight play out. After he was finished, his eyes glowed a bright red. It was almost like my character's soul was taken out of his body. Then before I knew it, my character shot forward. I wasn't even controlling him. He proceeded to swing his pickaxe, and he tore every single guard to shreds. It happened so fast, and I barely processed what the hell I was seeing. But I loved it. It was like I activated the strongest cheat menu in the game but I technically wasn't cheating either. The whole entire game, my character played itself. It seemed no amount of gunshots even phased him. I tried to record the gameplay on my PlayStation, but it always came out corrupted. After all sorts of gruesome fights, my character eventually made it to the final circle. It was him versus the last player. He was a good player, I'll give him that, but faced against absolute power, he stood no chance. I finished that game with a win and over 30 kills. I got out of my chair and cheered. This was amazing. As soon as I went to go and leave the game, something happened. The victory royale screen vanished. It cut back to my player. I heard what sounded like groaning. I noticed my character's nose in-game began to bleed. Then out of nowhere, 
my speakers were filled with the absolute sounds of complete agony. He began to bleed from his mouth, his eyes everywhere. I almost fainted at the sight. When it was all done, he was lifeless on the floor, covered in his own blood. I then felt a weird sensation wave over me. I grabbed my head as a sharp headache rushed over me. And then right afterwards, my nose began to bleed. I knew what was going to happen. I ran over to my phone and immediately dialed 911. No sooner than I did, all the pain my character felt instantly fell upon me. Then my body slammed into the ground, completely unconscious. I eventually came to, over a month later. In truth, I'm very lucky to be alive. My condition was compared to being shot several times by high caliber rounds, except internally. I only survived because I had several family members who had the same blood type as me, and it's thanks to last minute blood transfusions and heavy treatments that I'm typing this today. I never realised how quickly you can be consumed by absolute power. It can even put you in an early grave.